Hi, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot. I am coming at you with a general reading for the last six zodiac signs. Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, um, Aquarius, and Pisces. Okay. This is going to include maybe love, business, whatever comes up. Some rising. And this is going to be for um, July 1st to July 7th or July 8th. get a good shuffle thank you so much for supporting my videos thank you for watching thank you subscribers my um subscribers welcome to my channel if you have not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos i appreciate all your likes and your comments i do interact with you guys i love reading the comments my discussion tab is open and i any suggestions, constructive criticism, comments. I am offering specials on readings, um, 555 for my extended readings. Any extended reading from June is only $5.55. And this is for like 20 to 30 minutes worth of um, information. You know, so I put a lot of work in my readings. Um, please support. Also, um, uh, there is a cancer special. Um, Cancerians, it's your birthday month, and I'm, I'm just saying this just in case I have any can any cross watchers that are cancers. I am offering a discount on reading for you guys this month because I'm a Cancer Sun. All right, so let's get started. Libra is the first zodiac sign here. All right, Libra, sun, moon, rising. What you got going on here for the first week of July? Libra, Libra. I feel like those wanted to come out, but I'm not gonna force it. Libra, okay. Ooh, 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 not a blind. Some type of stagnation, some type of delay. Yeah, somebody is isolating themselves here. They're not ready to move forward here. And I keep saying somebody, Libra, you're isolating yourself. Um, stuck in soulmate reading mode. Yeah, you're the, you're you're um, putting down some burdens. You're trying to recuperate and really focus on. Working through some, there's some stagnation here. I see like, but I feel like you're not doing anything right now. You're really just resting. This is like a resting period for you. Letting go of some of these burdens here. I feel like some heavy burdens have been getting to you. There's some delays and postponements. So here, King of Cups, somebody may be coming towards you with an offer or with some valuable advice here to help you. A good friend, maybe a family member, a father figure, a brother, uncle. Um, it's really just spitting game to you right now, really helping you. Um, the world may be coming, um, card in reverse talks about stagnation, talks about a resistance to change, maybe a resistance to moving forward. Um, but then we also have the four of wands. Maybe you're still in like dealing with some negative. Yeah, see, you're being indecisive about something. Here, this could be about getting a new job, taking an offer. Um, this could be about traveling for a job. But it kind of feels like you're stuck in some negative emotions about something that happened in the past. But you're 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 working on letting those putting down those burdens. You feel over. You feel like um, the burdens are overwhelming. I mean, it's causing you not to be able to move forward. It's causing some stagnation. All right, let me just do one more card to see. One more card for Libra. So right now you're, you're kind of like just really not doing much. 
getting yourself back in order. Maybe there was a lot going on. Maybe you um, just move. You're resting from that. Yeah, see? Ooh. This could mean that you got a new home here. Somebody got a new home. This is communication, fast movement. Um, you're basically just trying to get the momentum back. Um, we had a lot going on last month. You were recuperating. There were some delays and some postponements here. Here, see, there's stagnation. You're making some some progress. There, there's some communication coming in. And I'm not even trying to get all these cars. They're just coming out. Um, you're really focusing on being the empress and, and finding joy. Here, this talks about family, contentment, fulfillment. This one too, family, contentment. So you're focusing on getting your family life together. It's really what you're focusing on, family right now. Family, the home. Um, you were, there were a lot of burdens. There was a lot of responsibilities. Somebody moved maybe. Um, somebody cut off uh, a lot of unnecessary BS out of their lives. All right? That's your reading, Libra. Next sign is Scorpio. Hey, Scorpios. I'm my booze. I love Scorp I love my Scorpios, my Scorpions. Here. All right, let's see what's going on for Scorpio. This was only supposed to be a few cards. Scorpio. Now I want to start shuffling correctly. Where I was talking about retard a moment ago. I hope I don't have the camera shaking because I do get a little rough. <laughs> I like it like that. Alright. Scorpios. Going on for, what's going on with the Scorpios? Sun, moon, rising. Ooh, dang. I didn't mean to do that. Mm. There go that little pesty character again. Nine of Cups. He's been showing his head a lot. Showing his little face a lot. Ooh. I'm going to take those. Dishonesty. Deceit. Loyalty, too much. Snoring on with our Scorpios. Ooh. Someone's not willing to put in any more work in a situation with someone dishonest. Or someone's waiting to see. Someone may be feeling some negative emotions here. They may be in their feelings about, um, uh, not seeing the fruits of their labors. They're they're working hard at something and they're not really seeing any gains from it. Maybe they're feeling a little bit impatient here. We have the eight of wands in reverse. No progress is being made on this business venture. Maybe there were some investments made and they're not seeing any... Um, they're not really seeing any of the profits here, the, as it pertains to a relationship, you're no longer putting your effort into a situation. There's a lack of communication, and you feel like you want to move forward with your life. You feel like you want to let um, this situation go. There may be a, a sense of regret. You feel like you wasted your time. We have the judgment. You made a judgment call here. You're definitely feeling like you need to let something go.
something pertaining to karma something pertaining to, uh, pertaining to what you put into a situation is what you're getting out or you may just feel like this person is not putting in their fair share here um, and you're focusing on your money right now you're focusing really just trying to get your finances together and like I said there may have been some investments and you're not seeing any of the returns on investments you're not um, seeing any progress or it's taking a long time you might be impatient or this may be resulted in talking about a relationship that has you feeling like this here a bunch of knives in your in your heart oops the magician showed his face here you're trying to manifest um, different things in your life right now specifically financial things maybe you are trying to manifest um, love so that you can heal your broken heart um, so you're really just focusing on yourself right now. You want to heal your heart so that you can be aligned with love. This is too many cards. So you can align yourself with what it is that you desire. Because you don't you, you desire communication. I see uh, all elements here: air, swords, wands, pentacles, cups. So you and then the magician is showing that you have all of the. This is confirming that you have all the elements you need. You have all the elements you need to manifest what it is that you desire. But I feel like um, you are being impatient. Surprise temperance and you show up. But the angels here. And this is Archangel Gabriel. And I believe the one on the temperance card is also Archangel Gabriel. I'm not sure. See if anything else wants to pop out. Three of Wands, no. Three of Wands and the Four of Swords. You feel like there's some delays and some postponements. And again, I feel like you're really just not being patient about something. Um, maybe you feel insecure about something. Yeah, you feel like as it pertains to money, it's taking longer than expected to get your money right. I feel like you're saving um, or as it pertains to love, you kind of feel like you're not going to be making any offers or maybe there's an offer you're waiting on. You feel like it's not going to come. This talks about healing. Um, this talks about confusion, maybe delays. You're confused right now and right now you want to focus on yourself and your healing. Um, because you were waiting on some type of an offer and it never came in. You were waiting on some type of communication. You never received it. So you're no longer going to try to force force it. You're going to just do you. Go your separate. You're making a judgment call to focus on yourself. And you want to just really keep to yourself. You're isolating yourself right now. And you're not going to be making any more offers. Okay, that's your reading, Scorpio. Um, the next sign is Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius. Hey, Sagittarius. Yeah, I've been showing up in my readings a lot. I don't know what's going on with Sag. Sag energy is strong for some reason. When I do private readings, Sag cards. I always get a bunch of Sag cards. Alright. Sagittarius. First week of July. I didn't even say that in the first card. Uh, for the first six zodiac signs. But that's alright. They'll see it in the title. Sagittarius in love. Oh, sorry. Sagittarius. This is a general reading. The general energies and this and i didn't say this but this is uh messages oops current energies okay i'm, I'm messing up the, the, the shuffling again current energies messages and advice that is the the, the basis of the general readings one more and we're going to pull some cards see what the tarot has to say today Okay, Sagittarius. What's going on with the Sagittarius? What's going on with my Sagittarius? Oh, 
five of wands. No longer want to fight. I feel like there's some obstacles in the way. Here, waiting on a message. Waiting on some... Maybe some type of no opportunity, but really just waiting on a message. Maybe waiting to hear from someone. Why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands here? Page of Swords, two pages. Um, I think you're waiting to hear back from someone, but I feel like, or you're communicating some type of message to someone, but this person's being immature. This person's not really cooperating with you here because we have the Five of Wands. There's some arguments between you and somebody else. Somebody that likes to wear red boots, <laughs> possibly. Um, mm, looked like there was some type of success or maybe some type of celebration that you attended recently. Maybe you ran into this person and then you got into some type of argument. The three of cups, please. As it pertains to a relationship, maybe you're finding out about a third party and you got into a huge fight about it. There's definitely some type of uh, nostalgia. Yeah, you um, went to maybe some kind of family event, maybe some type of... Uh, an event where you met up with people from your past, maybe people that from your childhood, or some type of celebration, maybe a wedding, um, graduation, funeral, um, and somebody you had issues with in the past. Maybe there was some type of um, discussion. Maybe you're trying to bury the bury the hatchet. I believe that's the thing. Clarify the page of source, please. That's a page source here. Yeah, maybe some, some maybe you're um, communicating from with someone from your past um, that you had some type of issue with in the past, and maybe this is your first time talking to that person in, in many years, and you're catching up. This or this is going to happen in the first week of July. Um, Yeah, see, um, this could have been a path of somebody you dated in the past because the Six of Cups is someone offering a cup. This could have been a high school sweetheart um, that hurt you, broke, broke your heart in the past. And this person may be coming back in your life or you may be meeting with, you may be seeing them at a family event. Here, you're gonna try to make an offer to this person somebody that you have deep feelings for, someone you dated in the past, maybe high school sweetheart, maybe someone you dated in high school or college, um, some card. This is positive, Sag. So this person, you're gonna meet, you're gonna meet up with them or see them at some type of function, some type of uh, celebration or party or wedding or funeral, something that's gonna bring you guys together and you guys are gonna rekindle whatever it was that you had here. One more card for you guys for Sagittarius. I don't really see anything about finances here. Um, Sagittarius.
Yeah. Um, Seven of Pentacles here. As it relates to work, I feel like um, you've been working for a long time at some type of business venture. Maybe you've been working at a job for a very, very long time and you're, you're tired um, and you're you're looking to moving up to a different position in the company or you're just tired in general and you may be looking for another place to work or you may be getting a job first week of July, maybe getting a promotion here. Hey Sagittarius, that is your reading. Next sign is Capricorn, Capricorn. Hey, I didn't even notice this was behind. This was under that card. Uh, so there was some struggles, y'all. I didn't even notice there was two cars stuck to each other. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. The goat. What it do, Capricorns? You guys hope to see some really good, positive messages about business, business-related matters, finances, money. You guys were doing that. Some of you guys, Capricorns usually be on point when it comes to their finances. All the Capricorns I know are well off or they're really, have really great ideas, really good with money. Unless you're a really young Capricorn and you're learning to get there, but, oops. Yeah, I see. I don't know what's going on with me, y'all. I'm mean, blaming it on the rings. <laughs> I feel like the card's getting stuck in my ring. Capricorn. And no, I'm not going to edit all that out. I'm going to time to that. <laughs> One more for good luck. Capricorn. Oops. I almost extra ready. All right. Capricorn. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising. What's going on first week of July? Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. Ooh, somebody's healing. Somebody's in isolation. Ooh, somebody's tired of fighting, arguing with somebody. Tired of the discord, turmoil. They need to recuperate. Taking a lot out of them. Somebody is draining their energy type of energy, a vampire around them. Could be friends, family, a romantic relationship, a job. Really sucking your energy dry, Cappies. Ten of Pentacles in reverse to Chariot. Yeah, there's a, there's a breakup in the near future here yeah there's going to be a breakup here you're moving forward and maybe you're making an offer to somebody else think about making an offer to somebody else you're done with whatever this was it's draining you sucking you dry or it could be your finances are still not what you want them to be you feel like there's some postponements or delays great during my reading my phone wants to ring uh, it's too far, you guys. I'm sorry. I apologize for the ringing. Um, it bees like that sometimes. Um, yeah, so. Hierophant, you're seeking spiritual advice. Maybe you're going, um, you join an organization or group. Maybe you committed to something. Um, Some type of conformity maybe you're committing to a diet routine maybe like a fitness plan maybe you're going to the gym maybe you got a gym membership here because this guy is dressed like in some kind of gym clothes here with this pentacle there's some nostalgia if you've been thinking about somebody from your past somebody that kind of hurts you you don't know how to come for you want to come towards this person from your past yeah, you're making you want to make an offer to someone you dealt with in the past. Ooh, okay. Here, yeah. But you don't know, you're kind of confused and you you're there, you're kind of insecure um about moving towards this person. 
but you definitely want to you're basically because the hierophant is the male counterpart of the priestess so you're trusting your intuition you're going within you've been seeking you've been going through some type of spiritual transformation you got some spiritual enlightenment here with the chariot card i feel like you're balancing out your your masculine your feminine side your dark light side you're kind of balancing out all together um you felt very imbalanced um, because of your emotions so now you're starting to understand um your shadow self more happiness but you definitely want to come towards somebody that you dealt with in the past but you're just not sure there's some delays you feel like there's an obstacle in front of you yeah you want to be happy. You feel like this person makes you happy. But maybe in the past, you were a player, player. And you had holes. Lots of holes. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And you were just focusing on your money. Hangman hey, just came out. Um, so right now, you're kind of waiting for the right time. You're waiting for perfect timing. Here. Yeah, you're waiting for perfect time to come towards this person. That's your reading Capricorns. Next on the list is Aquarius. Let's see. Libra, Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn. Yeah. Aquarius. And then Pisces is next. Oops, these are on backwards. Girl. Girl. Get it together. Aquarius. Ooh. These things are flying out. Ooh, I'm going to take it. Somebody's in their feelings. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody broke up with you or you broke up with somebody. Child. Ooh, you feeling, you feeling discontentment. You is not happy right now. Ooh, all these cards trying to fly out of my hand here. Ooh, look. Same cards. I put them back and the same cards flipped over. And it's like five of them. But I'm not going to take these. Maybe I will because I see soulmate. I see someone was left out in the cold. I see somebody ooh, was treated unfairly. There was a liar in the center in the mix here. I'm going to shuffle the men and see if they, sh they show up again. Okay. Let's see if I can get this shuffling right here. Aquarius. Don't try me. In the comments now about my shuffling. <laughs> I know how to shuffle, y'all. Just tired. Oof, God. No, I can't shuffle today. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, why am I being so rough? <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Let me be dainty and gentle. Oh my God. Aquarius. What's going on in the first week of Aquarius? What's going on in the first week of July for Aquarius? Ah! I'm telling you guys, like, I don't know what's going on with me. I might not even upload this video. Ugh. Hi. <laughs> I'm uploading it. Hey, if you don't like it, you don't like it. I'm rarely ever silly in my videos, so this is a rare occasion. <sighs> hey, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Someone's unhappy. Aquarius, someone's not happy. Take this. Someone's juggling. Ugh, they don't know what to do. Ooh, okay. The tower fell on the floor there, flew out of my hand. Yeah, someone broke up with somebody. Somebody was juggling um, two people, and it led to a breakup. 
Why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here? For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Why is the tower here? Ooh, golly. And then when they fly out like this, you see how this car got bent? <laughs> um, Queen of Wands, yeah, somebody is being manipulative. Somebody was being manipulative. Someone could not be trusted. Or this could just be you really just being closed off. A ten of pentacles. I kind of flipped it. So I feel like you're supposed to come in the reverse and it talks about a breakup, but that's fine. Someone broke up with someone on... Um, that's a release of finances. Somebody got fired. Aquarius, somebody got fired. Or somebody got, um, there was some kind of big, some fight, some big, huge argument at work. Some big argument at work involving multiple people. Or some argument happened in the family at a family function. It could have been a fire. Somebody could have experienced a fire. Or somebody may experience a fire. I don't know why I'm saying it in past tense. This is for the first week of July. Don't mind me. Like a little house fire or something. Be careful um, in the house. Um, Tempers is showing her face. She's saying that there's some type of patience required here. Maybe as it pertains to finances, I feel like. Um, or maybe... Ooh, gosh. In the moon, there's some secrets. Um, I feel like there needs to be some faith here. There's a lack of faith here in a situation. Um, this is somebody juggling two people. Damn, they're just falling all over the place. The magician in reverse confusion is... Also talks about um, not just confusion, but someone is not being completely forthcoming here, and you don't have faith in this relationship here. There must there it looks like there's going to be some type of uh, tower moment. The first week of July. It could be you trying to deal two financial situations and it's not going to work out for you, which will cause a tower moment. It could be you um, juggling whether or not you should whoop somebody's motherfucking ass. Here, there's another, another, you feel like there's another woman in the, in the mix or maybe another man. I feel like you can't manifest. Something you can't manifest some type of finances right now. You're in some type of financial crisis. Patient, and there's some type of um, negative emotions. There might be some secrets. Maybe someone's hiding money from you, Aquarius. Maybe someone's not telling you about some type of family inheritance or some type of uh, money that you're supposed to receive. Maybe there was some, there's going to be something, maybe a fire or something, and maybe there's some type of money you're supposed to receive here, okay? Let me put one more card for you, Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun and Rising, one more card. That's the Magician in Reverse. Why is the Magician, oops, here we are. Magicians in Reverse, um, because the, there is a... Uh, some type of reconciliation or you want to reconcile with somebody um or you want to have some type of partnership with someone but you don't know how to manifest that right now um because you're juggling two financial things or maybe you're um doing two jobs um but i kind of feel like somebody's cheating i think someone's juggling um two people and there was a breakup, and I feel like you want to there, there. You want a reconciliation. I think you're trying to be patient. You want your family back. Um, something with family. 
Um, you feel like there were some secrets um, and some lies and deceit, but you want your family back nevertheless. So you're trying to manifest a reconciliation. All right, Aquarius, that's your reading. And now, at last but not least, Pisces. Pisces. All right, Pisces. Let's see what's going on for y'all. First week of July. Look how to shuffle that. So sweet. I don't know what's going on with me. I hope this video didn't run too long. Let me see. Damn, 36 minutes. I don't like that because what it does is it cuts the video off. I might have to trim the video and makes the video into like two parts. I hate that shit, bro. Ooh, excuse my language. I'm gonna have to cut that part out. <laughs> I don't wanna have multiple videos up because sometimes you guys don't watch the fucking part. That hurts my feelings. Pisces, Pisces. What's going on with Pisces first? I was kidding, by the way. <laughs> Pisces, first week of July. Pisces, first week of July. Pisces, first week of July. Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. It's the same cards. No, okay. Um, in reverse, Queen of Wands in the upright, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and a uh, Nine of Swords. There was a breakup. Someone's depressed. Some type of separation. Loss of finances. Maybe a loss of a job. Someone got fired. Somebody was in some type of high position and now they, they got demoted. Causing stress, anxiety. Um, as it pertains to relationships, someone there was a breakup. There was definitely a breakup here. Her and her little her sunflower. She looking like she looked like a hoe. The Queen of Wands looked like a hoe, y'all. She really do. <laughs> um. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. The cook. Two of Wands. Three of Cups and the lovers in reverse. Somebody was stepping out. They couldn't choose between two people. There was messing with. They had. They were messing with. They had options. And there was definitely a breakup. Confirmed with the lovers. Jesus. Dang. Um. No. Someone is tired of. Um. They're tired. And they. They're. They're. They were ready to give up. They're not. They no longer want to struggle. Here. They're tired of waiting around. Nine of Wands. Ooh, look at that. Judgment. Judgment. Yes. They're going to make a judgment call. Ooh. They want to be single. This don't count here, y'all. They want to be single. They're ending this relationship. Or they're just letting go. They're really just going to focus on themselves and money. Um, This could be about a partnership. This could be about a, some type of Shady partnership, um, a business deal that didn't go through, um, or a business deal. Maybe you felt advantage, someone took advantage of you. Somebody was manipulating you. Um, there's secrets here, and you're not taking somebody's offer, or you're you're giving your heart to somebody else. Or maybe there's an offer coming towards you in the first week of July. And this could be the, some, the same person that broke your heart in the past. They may be coming towards you. But you, you're not sure if you want to take this person back. This person might still, this person can still be involved with a third party. Or this person is indulging, overindulging in um, drugs, alcohol. This person could be a party animal. Um, or this person is just wild. You're 
you're indecisive about this decision, but I feel like you're going to make a judgment call and the judgment call is not to accept the offer. The judgment call is cutting somebody out and Queen of Pentacles. Um, she's looking at that pinnacle there. She's looking at that coin. She's going to be focusing on her money. So, gosh, all the cards just spilled over, y'all. So, I feel like for you Pisces, and I'm saying she, but I'm talking about y'all. You guys are, you know, you've been through a lot in the past. There are some financial issues in the past. And I feel like to the Queen of Pentacles could be representing you starting a new business venture. Maybe um, making some type of investment. You're holding on to it. So maybe you're investing your money.